Jerrycom 305 Cow Val. The future value of a cow is of course unknown. This module is based on modules that estimate the future profitability of a cow based on a list of parameters. But certainly, pregnant cows are much more likely to remain in the herd, and higher producing cows are more likely to be profitable in the next lactation. Thus, these predictions should be used as guidelines. They are not meant to replace sound judgment, but to be management tools. The value of a cow is relative to that of a replacement heifer. Thus, a cow with a negative value is a potential cull. Cow val estimates the value of a cow relative to an average heifer. A positive means that she's worth more than an average heifer. A negative means she's worth less than an average heifer. It also calculates the value of a pregnancy and helps us decide whether animals should be bred. It assumes a dairy is running at capacity and is profitable. Less profitable animals are replaced with profitable ones. A cow's value is the sum of her value for beef and the value of her milk that she's likely to produce in the future. This value is based on her milk production in the future. The age, younger animals will stay in the herd longer. Days in milk, 30 days in milk will produce more milk than one that's at 200 days in milk. Pregnant versus open, pregnant are more value than open. Producing level, higher producing animals receive more value than lower producing animals. It is also based on the milk price and money invested in the animal. Cowval and pregval are relative to re the reproductive status in dairy comp. An animal that is not pregnant, the value of getting her pregnant is pregval plus cowval. Pregnant animals, the cowval includes pregval. If that animal were to abort, cowval would decrease by the pregval. If an open animal gets bred, cowval goes up because she's more likely to become pregnant. Here are some examples we're going to look at that will help explain this. When we're looking at this first animal, she has a cow val of negative 757 compared to an average heifer. If she gets pregnant, she's actually going to de decrease another $248. So she is an animal that is better to replace because she is, has a lower value than an average heifer. This animal has a negative 410 cow val. If she gets pregnant, her value will go up a positive 587. So then she would actually end up with a cow val of positive 147. This animal is a do not breed. If she would have gotten pregnant earlier in her lactation, she would have increased her value by $449. Another example is this animal that is currently pregnant. If she aborts, she will go down 1,426, which she will still be a positive 486. If this animal aborts, her value will go from a current cow value of 1,814 down to 1007. Now we are going to go into Dairy Comp and show you how to set up Cowval. The first time Dairy Comp estimates Cowval, it will ask you to allow it to create two new items. First, CWVal to store the cow value, and then PGVal to store the preg value. Simply press Enter each time Dairy Comp asks if you would like to create these two items. To start, simply put Cowval at the command line and press Enter. It will prompt you to add the new items and then you can go down to calculate parameters. This is a list of parameters. The ones that you will need to enter would be your volunteer waiting period, your cost for a heifer, either to raise a heifer or purchase a heifer, your cull value, milk price per hundredweight, marginal feed, maintenance feed per day, and if there's a discount rate. The rest of them will be filled in from averages from Dairy Comp, however you can make changes to them. Also verify that cow value is CW val and preg val is PG val. Once you have entered all of your parameters, you can simply say OK and it will calculate 
your Calvel, and you will now see both a Calvel and a Pregvel. You can also go down to Estimate Cal Value, and this will give you a list of your averages and also your cutoffs. Once you've done that, you're going to want to create a report. And on the report, you'll want to make sure that you have both CalVal and PregVal. And you may also want to be sure that you have your Repro, Days in Milk, and Days Carried Calf. One of the other things that you may want to consider putting on your report is, as part of the for statement, have for Days in Milk greater than 75. And the reason that I say that is, especially if you don't have daily milk, um, early lactation milk production estimates are not always that accurate. Once you get out to 75 days in milk, you should have some pretty accurate estimates. So again, I'm going to press Enter. I have this sorted by the most negative animals at the top. If we look at the first animal, uh, 5372, you'll see that she is 211 days in milk, and she is pregnant. And her cow val right now is a negative 1196. If she would happen to lose that calf, she actually would be a negative 2393 because we need to add the preg val back into the cow val. The second cow on the list, 3792, is 91 days in milk. She is bred currently, and her cow val is negative 1103. If she actually gets pregnant, we're going to be adding another negative 792. So she will then be a negative 1895, which is quite a bit less than what an average heifer would be. In this example, I've also included the times bred. If we look at cow 4226, we will see that she's 253 days in milk. She is open and has been bred six times with a negative cow val and a negative preg val. This means she is worth less pregnant than if she remains open. However, the software assumes that the cows that are not coated a do not breed, are, we are still trying to get them pregnant, and a percentage of the time they will become pregnant. Thus a cow will have a lower cow val while she is eligible to be bred. Her value should increase if we actually code her as a do not breed. This makes sense, and it is sometimes a profitable decision to flag an animal as a do not breed. A cow flagged as a do not breed may still have a positive cow val until her milk production decreases below the cull or cutoff value. This is usually when her feed cost exceeds her income, which is usually around somewhere around the 20 pounds based on your parameters, or that her daily profit is less than a replacement. That's typically around 50 pounds, again, depending on the parameters that you have entered. Another report that you may want to add your cow val and preg val to is going to be your vet list. One of the best times to decide to stop breeding an animal is when the veterinarian declares her open at a pregnancy exam. Having the value estimates on your vet list may make it easier to make a decision more consistently. As you can see, CalVal can be a very valuable tool. Every decision made on a dairy is based on improving the herd's profitability. You keep an animal because she's more profitable to keep than replace. You breed animals because they will become more profitable if they become pregnant. You treat animals because they will be more valuable after treatment than before. Cow value estimates can help the herd manager assign a value to animals more consistently.